13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Ty Quinones and right now on your 13 Action News Update, the Las Vegas Cancer Center is the victim of a ransomware attack. The center says that patient information may have been compromised as a result of the attack. And hackers may have gotten patients names, their addresses, dates of birth, social security numbers and medical records as well. We're told the attack happened over Labor Day weekend. The center is now notifying current and former patients as the FBI investigates. Nevada's only Republican in Congress says he is not going to run for governor in 2022. Congressman Mark Amadei announced on Monday that he will instead seek re-election to his House seat. The 63-year-old has served in Congress since 2011. There are already several GOP hopefuls in the race for governor, including North Las Vegas Mayor John Lee and Sheriff Joe Lombardo. Well, the Las Vegas Aviators releasing a survey to try to gauge some interest on a possible move by the Oakland A's. So the email was sent to fans who have bought tickets. It says that as part of the planning process, the A's right now are conducting a study to determine demand for Major League Baseball and also a new ballpark here in Las Vegas. So the survey asked questions like if you live in Las Vegas, if you own season tickets for any local pro team, and if you attend any MLB games. Danny. Back to a mostly sunny sky on Tuesday. We'll wake up to a touch of cloud cover, but for the second half of the day, that's when we're back to sunshine. Temperatures are going to back off a few degrees from where we landed Monday. Monday's high was 80. We expect to land near 76 degrees on Tuesday, but that's still above the seasonal average. And for the second half of the work week, our highs climb closer to 80 degrees. We'll be in the upper 70s with sunshine heading into the weekend. Looks pretty good. All right, Danny, thank you. That was your 13 Action News update. Remember, you could always get the latest news at KTNV.com.